This is a video demonstrating the use of the injector cartridge of a Lux Smart Lens in the case of femto cataract. We see a free floating capsule rex is made by our machine. The capsule rex is simply pushed out of the anterior chamber using viscoelastic. We go ahead to do a hydrodissection. In this particular case, we do a cortical cleaving hydrodissection. The nucleus is beautifully raised as the, we get a fluid wave. And then we ensure a good rotation of a soft sticky cataract. We will fast forward this video uh, for these steps because the intentionality of this particular video is not to show the femto cataract or the cataract surgery. The intention is to show the insertion and the procedure of using the Luxmart injector. One important point which I would like to reiterate for people here is that especially when we are using uh, premium IOLs, it's a very good idea to do a very very clean cortical cleanup and ensure that the posterior capsule is very well polished. So you will see us doing a hydrojetting technique to clean the posterior capsule. So we have a pristine clear posterior capsule here. Now this is how the Luxmart preloaded lens injector looks like. There is a covering or a flap covering the lens on top. It's a four haptic lens with a small little nub on the right leading side and a nub on the left trailing side. This is how the lens looks like. We will show you the, the flap which covers the lens on the top. Never remove this cover because we may be in a habit to removing these flap covers in some other preloaded lenses which are available in the market. Here I am trying to show you the flap which is covering the lens. The IOL, the 4 haptic IOL is now covered with a flap on top which ensures that the lens does not move here and there. Now what we need to do is instill some BSS just underneath the flap cover so that the lens is wetted from underneath. And then we put some BSS from the other edge of the cartridge and making sure that the BSS flows out from the lower end. We can do the same from the lower end to upwards also. Then we slowly close the flange till we hear a snap and we wait for a few seconds and then start pushing the lens till it reaches the broadest part of the cartridge system. Now this is how the lens looks like. You will see a small little nub on the right leading side and a small nub on the left trailing side. Since this lens comes in a 2.2 millimeter injector cartridge, all you need to do is push in the cartridge. You can push it through a 2.2 millimeter incision also. We are using a 2.8 millimeter incision. The lens goes very beautifully, slowly inside the eye. We ensure that the leading loops are opening in the capsular bag under the capsular axis. And as the lens is opening, we push some viscoelastic on top. Since this is a slow opening lens, uh, just like its brother, the Envista lens, you just push the lens slowly, the trailing loops into the bag and the lens is well positioned inside. It's a very stable lens with four haptics. We do a viscoelastic removal uh, in the particular case. One thing we will notice is that there are no separate zones visible in the central part of the eye well. The interior surface is absolutely smooth without any raised bumps or very, very minuscule rings, unlike some of the other lenses available in the market. So the result is that there are no uh, loss of contrast and there is no uh, incidental or rare halos or glare seen. You see it's a pristine, clear, shining interior surface of the lens. And we've had very good experience with this particular lens in our patients. Thank you.